welcome to the virtual green room. My name is Jack, your host, and today I am bringing you another shaving video. And my choice of soap today is going to be from Murphy McNeil. And you've probably seen everyone and their mother use this by now. But uh, this is Pisgah. Look at how badass that label is. Um, Chicano Design has done a great job on this. This is another collaboration with Black Mountain Shaving, very much in the same vein of uh, as Nate Tehala. Um The scent on this, if I was to describe that, um, that it has an aquatic undertone, I would definitely say. There's some spiciness and there's some warmth. So I found out from uh, the guy who owns Black Mountain Shaving, which I believe his name is Joe, forgive me if I'm wrong. Um, he told me that it's a mix of three popular neat well, it's a mix of three niche colognes, two from the house of Amouage and uh, Initio Parfum. So, he, but he didn't tell me which ones, he was uh, holding that close to his chest. So. All I can say is that it has a really nice, aquatic, warming feel. It's a very versatile scent. I'd say it's ideal for spring, autumn, winter, probably not summer. I think it's still a bit too heavy for summer. Um, like I said, really well done in terms of labeling by Chicano Design there. Uh, it's got like this really nice shiny element, as you can see. But yeah, that's going to be the soap we're using today, and that's in the Kodiak base. Razor is going to be the Tatara Muramasa. I'm going to put in some more time with this so I can uh, kind of get planning for a, like a full review. My brush is going to be New in the Dead. And this is a Declaration B8 Lemon Drop. This was sold to me by uh, Ken, Shave326. Uh, yeah, thank you, Ken. Let's get loading here from Kodiak. Um, I, I love Kodiak. The only problem I have with Kodiak is it's not more readily available. Um, it's been hard for tons of people to get a hold of, but it's always been very, very consistent, and that's the sad thing, you know. I uh, I wish more people could try this because it's so good. I'm expecting overheating in this video, guys, and all I can say about that is sorry. I spoke to OnePlus, and they told me that um, they're planning a firmware update to update that. If they don't, and I'm just gonna buy a video camera. Fuck it. I think I think we actually have a decent load on there. Uh, Kodiak is pretty soft, so we don't need to um, load for too long there. To be honest, Let's get the face wet, and we'll get slathered up. So how are you? Well, I'm doing well. Uh, it's Thursday when I'm recording this, and I'll probably release it today as well. I hope you guys have been enjoying the tank videos. Um, I appreciate people tagging me in those. Yeah, this scent is lovely. Um, as far as scent strength, I would say, probably about a six, maybe, maybe six and a half. I wouldn't say it's as strong as seven. I'd say some A and E scents are a seven. And this is definitely isn't as strong as A and E. If we have overheating issues, just expect for me to keep cutting in and out. I know it's a fucking pain, but there's, like I said, nothing I can do. Okay, let's get to lathering up here. It's been a while since I used Kodiak. I sort of named to Halo when I got rid of a lot of soap. But there's no denying that Kodiak is a brilliant soap base. It's really worked this in. So the way I would describe the B8 batch, it has a bit better background than the B6. It's slightly more dense actually probably not more dense I'd say I probably wouldn't say it's denser but it definitely has better backbone and as you can see it just whips up this lather into a frenzy very very quickly 
And I, I, I do attribute that to the superior backbone it has. I mean, look at the lather it's made already, and I've not really been lathering for very long, by my standards, anyway. Yeah, it's actually coming together real beautifully already. It's really nice sheen. I kept a bit more water in the brush than I normally would, so it's come together very quickly. I'm actually happy with the structure of the lather, so we're just going to paint a bit more because I still think we can put a bit more water into this. You know what I'm like. And if you don't, welcome. Welcome to the Virtual Groom Room traditional lathering channel where we lather for three quarters of the video and actually shave for a quarter of the video. Well, I mean, we'll shave for an eighth of the video and talk for another quarter of the video. Yeah, I actually think we're ready, to be honest. That's a super quick lather. Look at that. Incredible. Man, oh man. Fucking hell. I, don't, I can't remember it was... Can't, couldn't remember it lathering this quickly, to be honest, but hey. Hey, I mean, I'm not complaining, man. I'm not complaining. Okay, so we're going to start this on setting three of the Muramasa. That's one of the criticisms I have of the design, actually. It's almost really hard to see this if you're the, if you're on the other side of the camera, I guess. Let's lather up. I mean, let's shave. We've lathered up already. I won't put you through that again. So as far as blade exposure goes, 3 has a neutral blade exposure, very much like the Masamune with an Adachi top cap. It feels different though, so this is, this is a slightly different head geometry to me. Lather just absolutely folding off every time I put water on it, shows it's very well hydrated. Great scent. Stays very present throughout the shave. Boom. Super easy. Man, that's a good razor. Okay. Rinse off. I'm allowed to pass too. I expect some overheating. I know I keep saying this, but it's a fear of mine. It's a pain. Okay. Really, really nice, like residually fatty layer on the skin. All this amazing flow through. Just whack that on the top of the brush here. I'm going to drip some more water on it because why the hell not? That. Then we're going to lather up for our second pass. Where are you going? You don't get in the way. I don't get away that easily. Beautiful lather. Incredibly creamy. <clears throat> okay, we're gonna dial up to setting four on this one. I don't know if you can see, maybe, four. Still very usable. J 
just kind of what you want, to be honest. I, I like a, a full range at my disposal. Very much like those old uh, Gillette adjustables. It's all usable. Thing I like about this, so I, I shave with pretty wet hands, guys. Like you can see, I, I like a razor with good grip. And the emboldened dimples in comparison to the Muramasa. No, Masamune and Nadachi are a big improvement of the grip of the razor for me. Really big improvement. Let's have a feel around. <laughs> Pretty good. So what, what I'm gonna do now? Bit of a clean up on the neck. <coughs> Shit. I must do the splash across the room. Let's uh, dial up to setting five for the cleanup. I've been doing this with this razor, I found it works very, very well. Setting five does have quite a bit of blade fill. So you need to be a bit more careful on this one, but it's still incredibly usable. Cool, okay, and I think that's the shave, guys. So as always, let me go away, get this on my face, and I'll be back with the post-shave and the final thoughts. I'll see you soon. Hey guys, post-shave time. Really nice shave. I have like this really tacky feeling on my face, which is normally a good thing, to be honest. Let's use the splash here. So this is the Pisgah splash. Look at that. So I have to say that this is probably best in class when it comes to aftershave splash packaging. I've never, I don't think I've seen something quite as premium as this. Um, very, very nice. But let's get a decent amount of this here. I don't need to skim. This is the alcohol-free version. You have to type to try that. Oh, it's a lovely scent. Really is a lovely scent. Feels like a good, good splash as well, guys. Okay, uh, let me show you everything I used today and I'll let you guys go as always. Um, today, my soap of choice, as you saw, was, let me get this the right way around, Pisca by Murphy McNeil in collaboration with Black Mountain Shaving. Really nice artwork done by Chicano Design. Not all of his artwork is for me, but this one is definitely a home run for me. Razor, Tatara Muramasa, still covered in lather. Can't get more authentic than that. Uh, beautiful razor, very well made. Uh, very versatile as well. I love all of the settings on here. Can't really complain, looking forward to actually reviewing that. My brush was new. And this is the Declaration Grooming B8 Lemon Drop. Really nice, uh, very dense. Massive bloom as well, really nice brush. And to finish everything off, we used Pisgah, Murphy McNeil's Alcohol Free Splash. Very nice, actually. Very nice. Um, but yeah, hope you guys enjoyed the video today. If you're new around here and haven't yet subscribed, please consider doing so. I would very much appreciate it. Apart from that, my name is Jack, your host from the Virtual Groomer. Wherever you are in the world, have a wonderful day. And goodbye for now.